Hey, what's up you guys? So I went, I took myself on an artist date to the Dollar Tree and I thought I'd bring you along even though the point is that you're supposed to go alone but um, I think this still technically counts as going alone. So buckle in and hopefully you're looking to have just a good chill time at Dollar Tree today. I saw a lot of cool stuff I can't wait to show you. Um, so let's head in. First thing I saw right by the door was all these beautiful different types of flower lays and there was cool like metallic ones. I love this one. It's so gorgeous. There's like rainbow, pastel rainbow. And then these ones were hidden around the next shelf, all these like metallic ones. I looked at this green sand. I thought about getting it for my boyfriend because green's his favorite color, but I thought I'd wait till we moved to the next house and there was such big bubbles. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get some of those for the summer. Over here, there was a lot of really cool different um, erasers. These ones are like monsters. These ones are really cool. They're Dr. Seuss books, but they don't say anything on the spine, so you can't just put them on the shelf. And then I love these rainbow ones, but then, oh, they match these rainbow uh, sticky tabs. But then these rainbow erasers are even better on the tie-dye background. And they've got some cute little pink star pencil sharpeners, but I don't need six pencil sharpeners. Oh, and then these other erasers were little animals that hold on your pencil. Here's just a quick view of what I've got in the cart so far. Some stickers, some organizers, um, just some more organizers, and a coloring book. I ended up putting that back, though. And then over here, they've got a bunch of different little to-do list pads. I really like those, but I already used my bullet journal, so I said no thank you today. But anything is possible. They're not wrong. Look at this floofy rainbow pen. There was only two in the store, but I only got one. Um, I went back and picked it up later. And then over here, we start getting into a bunch of like notepads, I do not care, and like journals. This one just says notes, chill out list pad. I thought about that one too, for groceries or something like that, you know, just like a quick little list moment. This one says great ideas start here and it's got the pink border on all the pages, on all the just blank pages. So definitely getting that one. And then there's this plain owl one, but not for me and some dinosaurs or something, skateboard sharks, I don't really know. This one says live, laugh, love. I thought that was cute for someone else, but oh my gosh, look at this one. It has like pink and purple, like leopard print type moment. And it's got that elastic around the corner like journals usually have. Um, and it's got just lined pages. So that's pretty good for journaling, just writing out any thoughts I might be having. So that one, I, I was, trying to control myself but I thought you know what I just will leave it in a maybe pile for later and then these are just some little note cards which would be cool for like school or something but not really what I'm looking for um there's some more sharks this one's really cute some tacos and succulent type moments cactuses this one is marble and it says believe in yourself in gold letters had to open that one up and check too. That one just has blank pages, which is good for like sketching or art or making collages with like stickers, stuff like that. I put that in the maybe pile too. And oh my gosh, would you look at this one? Little mermaid pencil pouch. That book said big plans and it's blue and I'm not really making any big plans. So I left that one behind. Same with goals. I have too many goals already. Um, brand new day. That one you can't see the inside because it's wrapped in plastic, so I left it behind. This one looked pretty neat because there's a bunch of little tiny notebooks in there, but I don't know what all the covers say. And then this was already broken when I picked it up, so it stressed me out and I put it back. And then under here, there was some really cool silver holographic notebooks, but this one on the cover says fat burning water, lemon, and ginger. 
which like wasn't really the vibe but this one has a dog wearing a big top hat on it so i put that one on top of the other one and i tuck them back underneath the broken shit so hopefully no one will see the weird fat burning water one over here we just have some more like journals that one says journal on it so you know that it's a journal that one with the beautiful gold flowers and the flower um like shadows on the lined pages ah oh, so gorgeous so look at that i put that one in the maybe for later pile too and then i kept um seeing what else we got in here same one again and then this one says hello darling i mean hello sunshine just keep rolling big dream big with a unicorn on it i thought that one was so adorable but i wanted to see what the other options were oops knock the pencils down make sure i put those back so no one else has to deal with it what's in the back here we've got heck yes on some like aqua like leopard print moment that one's in the maybe later pile too for sure and then i went back and grabbed that dream big unicorn because that's so me if you know me you know that's like just my style and i decided you know what i want everything from the save for later pile i just threw it in my basket and then over here we have some like skinnier flip book type of journals um they say a bunch of different stuff on them but i don't really love that size and shape oh and another dog i love that dog journal but not for me that one just says notes and it has some beautiful flowers on it but it's a little too plain for me and then this was pretty cool it's a little um like notepad with different sticky notes and they're just so beautiful i really thought about this one for a while like they're all different size and shape sticky notes for different purposes and it comes in this beautiful little folder with a little snap once you take the plastic off and I just thought they'd be really good for a lot of different things but then I started going back and forth in my head because I thought you know a lot of times when you get the cheaper sticky notes the sticky doesn't really work that good and if I really want it it'll still be there later so I'll think about it and come back. That one's pretty cool. It says girl power, but I left it behind so a little girl could buy it. Um, and we're getting kind of to the end of the journal section. There's a 2022 calendar with some sticky notes of like some succulents. And then I thought all these different um, pens with squishy tops were really cool, but none of them was quite exactly the one I needed. And then over here they had, I thought these were regular pencils with cool patterns, but they're actually mechanical pencils with cool patterns um little pastel and then these were mechanical pencils but they're actually colored pencils and i've been thinking about writing with some colored pencils in my journals because for you know that asmr moment with like the pencil scratching on the paper so i thought these mechanical colored pencils might be really good for that and those are you know some pretty good colors i looked at all the different color packs there were and i definitely picked the one with the best colors and then this I thought about too, I used to have one like that, but just black, a little scoochy plastic eraser holder, but the pink one was really cute. And then I realized there was all these journals down here. Some of them had cool um, spirals, but they were for like princesses and trolls and Mickey Mouse. So I decided to pass on those and just check out some of the ones with the silver spirals, see what kind of covers they had. Um, I wanted to put the Disney Princess one back on the bottom so little kids could see it. This is just like a notepad with different color paper, and I thought that was pretty cool. I think it'd be also cool if they were like shuffled, but it's pretty cool that they're organized, but I don't really need a tiny pad of different color paper right now. And then, oh my gosh, this. I was looking and I was... I saw it in the back, that's why the camera was aiming at the floor, I was trying to reach and grab it, and I just thought this goofy string would be so funny to prank my boyfriend with around the house. So I'll give you guys an update about that when I get a chance to use it on him. Over here there's just like some composition books, these work really good as journals because there's no like um, sharp metal thing in the middle to hurt your wrist. And these were probably the two cutest ones with like some pink mandalas and like some rainbow tie-dye. Um, but I already had a lot of journals in my basket and there was a lot of each ones of these. 
So, you know, I thought I can just come back and get these the next time I need journals instead. Here I am, you can see I wanted to count the journals I already had to see if I was making a good or bad choice. Um, I kind of wish I would have got them just because, you know, they're a little bigger than the journals I got. So next time I'm there for sure, I'll be grabbing at least a couple of those. And then this was just some construction paper. I just wanted to make sure that it was just construction paper and not anything else. Over here, we're looking at some of the different crayons. Um, they have all these different little eight packs of different ones, like metallic, I already have those. These ones are pastel, so I thought I'd get those. These ones say they're neon, but like, do you see those colors? Do those look like neon to you? There's like a beige one beige neon i don't know maybe i'll get them next time maybe i'll bring a black light with me next time and test them in the box but then they had this one that i thought was going to be kind of like mermaid colors and some of them are but some of them are just like boring colors so i put that one back and then the last one i saw was these pearl crayons that have like a special finish to them so i'm really excited to try those I'll let you know how they go. I might try them on some black paper too. And this is just all the other Crayola stuff they had. Crayola is really like one of the best, most accessible art brands in my opinion at least. So I think it's really pretty cool that they have it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 for each thing. Um, and I found this little balloon that got lost in the pencil bag pouch box. Isn't that so cute? And then oh my gosh, look at these for like a makeup brush moment. You could really keep anything in there and they had all these different little scent jars with like you know stuff in them to make it like smell good and i was looking at all the different ones and some of them sounded pretty good but i wanted to wait and see what one my boyfriend wanted so we could both get the same one together to put in each of our closets separately so i'll let him know that i found those and we'll go back and get some and then look at these i think they're like candle holders but you could use that for like a wine glass moment for like a makeup brush moment you could really put anything in there you wanted and i just love both of these colors so much it's and then over here they had these little butterfly different color pencil pouches and i don't know i just love butterflies something about them I think my grandma makes me think of butterflies and then over here they had some more journals with like this gold on them and this one's like a swirly marble type moment and this one says think positive feel positive live positive and i mean that is kind of the life i'm trying to go for but i didn't like that it said it on every single page the way it was i liked how the water marbly one had like the ghosting on the page like the other journals did so I only ended up getting that marbled one. And then they have these makeup brushes, which are so cute. So I might go back and get them for you guys so that I can make a video. I don't really know, reviewing them or something. But anyway, that's been my Dollar Tree vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I would be nothing without all you guys. And I love you so, so, so much. You're just, you're just lovely. Make sure you live, laugh, like this video and leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought was the coolest thing or what you have at your Dollar Tree, what you think I should keep an eye out for, and just have a lovely rest of your day, guys. Bye!